Redix is a layer one protocol specifically designed for the DeFi, so decentralized finance ecosystem, aiming to solve major challenges such as scalability, user experience, and developer engagement. Redix introduces several innovative technologies and frameworks to enhance the functionality and accessibility of DeFi applications. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. To fully understand this project and to do it justice, I'd like to take a quick moment to give you some background information. Now, Redix is a layer one protocol and a layer one blockchain refers to the underlying main architecture of a blockchain network. And this fundamental layer includes the entire protocol that defines the construction and operation of the distributed ledger, including how data is recorded, how consensus is achieved, and how nodes communicate and validate transactions. Now, layer one is is essentially the core infrastructure of a blockchain. Key aspects are things like the consensus algorithm, network security, scalability, and upgradability. Layer one is contrasted with layer two solutions, which are built on top of the layer one blockchain to enhance its scalability and efficiency without altering the fundamental structure. And layer two solutions include technologies like state channels, side chains, and rollups, which help manage transaction load and speed without compromising the security of the main blockchain. Basically, layer one is the base level of a blockchain network, critical for its operation and defining characteristics, including how transactions are processed, recorded, and verified across all nodes. Now that you've got a basic understanding of layer one, it's time to look at Radix itself. Radix is developed by RDX Works, and it was founded by Dan Hughes, which currently leads the R&D efforts for Radix. Now, Radix uses a unique consensus algorithm called Cerberus, which allows for high scalability and efficient transaction processing across multiple dApps and operations without compromising the security and composability that are crucial in the DeFi applications. Cerberus is designed to enhance both the scalability and security of transactions on the blockchain, ensuring that as the network expands with more nodes, it simultaneously increases its capacity for processing transactions. This feature is crucial for DeFi applications which often experience high volumes of transactions. It operates through a sophisticated three-phase commit protocol and this method assures that transactions across multiple network shards maintain integrity and finality keeping the network state consistent even in a distributed environment and this is particularly vital in DeFi where transactions are not only frequent but also complex involving multiple steps and dependencies another feature of the Cerberus algorithm which makes it stand out is its ability to maintain atomic composability and this ensures that all operations within a single transaction are either all successfully executed or all fail, thus safeguarding against partial execution that could lead to errors or exploitations. Such a feature is indispensable in scenarios involving multiple simultaneous financial activities like swaps or loans where the atomic nature of transactions is a bulwark against fraud. Severus also emphasizes security and vault tolerance, capable of functioning accurately even if some nodes in the network fail or behave maliciously. This resilience is key to maintaining the reliability and integrity of the blockchain, ensuring that it remains robust against a range of potential threats. Now, finally, the architecture supports a high degree of decentralization, mitigating risks associated with central points of failure. And this decentralization is not just a technical feature, but a foundational ethos that protects against control or manipulation by any single entity, thereby enhancing the democratic nature of Radix blockchain. Now another thing to know is that Radix was built with the developer community in mind. It simplifies the creation of DeFi applications through its development environment, powered by the Scripto programming language. Scripto leverages the safety and expressiveness of Rust, making it easier for developers to build secure and sophisticated financial services without the steep learning curve typically associated with blockchain programming. Now, in terms of user experience, Rytus has taken significant strides to ensure that its platform is accessible and user-friendly. And this includes intuitive account management systems that replace conventional cryptographic challenges like managing private keys with more user-friendly processes. Now, this focus extends to Rytus's wallet and asset management tools, which are designed to be as straightforward as possible, thus lowering the entry barrier for new users into the DeFi space. Distinctively, Rytus distinctly distinguishes itself from its competitors through its holistic approach to the DeFi ecosystem. Unlike platforms that focus solely on scalability or developer tools, 
Ruddix provides a comprehensive solution that addresses the needs of users, developers and enterprise clients alike. Its focus on creating a developer friendly environment coupled with powerful user interfaces and groundbreaking consensus technology positions them favorable in regards to competitors. And before we move on, I want to remind you all that I'm not a registered financial advisor. My videos are meant to be educational and entertaining only. Always do your own research and only invest money you're willing to lose because even though you can gain a lot in crypto, you will most likely lose it all. Now, because you're all very dear to me and I like to help keep your crypto safe, I was actually able to work out some deals with hardware manufacturers. Check the links down below to find yourself the best deal. And since the Redix project has been around for a while now, their mainnet is now live as well. Launched in July of 2021, the Olympia mainnet was the first version of the Redix public network. It included the initial release of core components like the Radix Node software, Radix Engine V1 and the native XRD token. The Olympia mainnet used a simple version of the Cerberus consensus without sharding and focused on foundational elements such as token creation and basic staking mechanisms. Its primary goal was to test and secure the basic network infrastructure before more complex functionalities were introduced. And launched in September of 2023, the Babylon Mania represented a significant upgrade from Olympia. It introduced advanced features aimed at enhancing the developer and user experience dramatically. Babylon brought the full deployment of Scripto for asset-oriented programmability and Radix Engine V2, which enabled the creation of complex dApps with sophisticated smart contract capabilities. The Babylon upgrade also introduced the Radix Wallet for mobile platforms, a more intuitive and secure way to manage digital assets and interact with the dApps. Now this wallet integrates innovative features like the transaction manifest for human readable transaction details, personas for passwordless logins and Radix Connect for linking mobile wallets to desktop applications securely. And the whole transition from Olympia to Babylon marked a shift from basic network functionalities to a comprehensive DeFi platform capable of supporting advanced decentralized applications. Babylon's focus was on reducing complexity, enhancing security and improving the overall ease of use for both developers creating dApps and end users interacting with the Radix network. Features such as delegated fees, ledger enforced royalties and the Radix dashboard were introduced to support these enhancements and to foster a vibrant ecosystem around Radix's technology. Now one of the final things I want to talk about in this video is their wallet. The Radix wallet designed for both iOS and Android platforms marks a significant advancement in the DeFi and Web3 user experience. It introduces innovative features like the transaction manifest which offers users a clear human readable summary of transactions before they are executed, ensuring transparency and control. The wallet also supports smart accounts, which allow multi-factor recovery and eliminate the need for traditional seed phrases enhancing security. Now, additionally, Radix personas provide a passwordless login experience, simplifying access to dApps while maintaining security. And the integration of Radix Connect enables seamless interaction between mobile and desktop devices, promoting a fluid user experience across platforms. And this comprehensive approach not only enhances user convenience, but also aligns with Radix's vision of making blockchain technology accessible and secure for everyday use. Transactions in the Radix wallet only take a few seconds to complete and all transaction fees are paid in XRD, which is the token for Radix. And XRD is available in several tier one exchanges. And the best part is this token can also be staked with the sponsor of today's video, which is Radical Staking. They are the leading validator node on the Radix blockchain and also help me out while writing the script for this video. The link to them can be found down below in the description and I highly encourage you to check them out. And then the last topic of today is their ecosystem. Now, if you're excited about this project, and want to learn everything there is to know about their ecosystem, then you can visit their Radix ecosystem website, which is linked down below. One neat feature to me personally is their airdrop page, which shows you all the airdrops active and how to become eligible for them. Talk about secret and hidden opportunities, right? When we check DeFi Llama real quick, we can also see that the TVL is increasing, which is a good sign and usually indicates a bigger interest in a project and its ecosystem. Now, one of the reasons the TVL is exploding is because of Project Ignition, which is an initiative from RDX Works in which you provide liquidity with impermanent loss protection. 
The way it works is this. You provide BTC, ETH, USDC or USDT to a liquidity pair in a DEX. The DEX, so Calvier 9 or Okai Swap, will match your tokens with the equivalent amount in XRD for the pair. And once you deposit it, you automatically get 20% of the XRD amount deposited as an upfront bonus, which is like an upfront staking reward to help mitigate impermanent loss. But keep in mind, I'm not a registered financial advisor, so do your own research. And in conclusion, this project has a lot to offer. It's a layer one blockchain with its own ecosystem. The other thing is that not only the entire team is doxxed, but I've heard they actively engage with the community in Discord, Telegram, Twitter, and Reddit. They also listen to their community and implement suggestions and recommendations from the community into the product, which is also one of the reasons why I made this video due to their great community. Make sure to join our free Telegram and Twitter as well. They are linked down below. Subscribe to get more alpha and I'll see you guys next time. Dude.